After a journey from Korea, the troop ship Empire Orwell transfers 150 ex-prisoners of war to the tender Kalshan. The glorious Gloucesters are among the 18 regiments represented. Still with his men is Lieutenant Colonel Khan, who spent 19 months solitary confinement in prison camp. Still far from fit after his ordeal, the 46-year-old Colonel speaks of the Reds' treatment of POWs. A number of statements have been published in the press about the treatment of prisoners of war by the Chinese. And I think the general impression which will have been gained from those statements is a correct one. The Chinese methods of punishment were often primitive and several officers and men had very unpleasant and sometimes terrible experiences which are unlikely to endear the system to any Briton. When all is said and done, perhaps the majority of men will agree with my summing up the results of the experience. I have gained an added pride in being British, and I have lost a little weight. Into Southampton docks, the long journey home is nearly ended. Eagerly they seek their loved ones as the Calshot moves into berth 107, where only a few weeks ago the first of the Gloucesters set foot on Blighty shore again. Now Colonel Khan, their commander, is home as well. Sweethearts and wives press through the throng. The moment they have dreamed about is theirs at last. Sergeant Major Ridlington from Colchester greets his children. With his fiancée is Captain Bill Morris, who had been reported killed. Britain welcomes her boys back home and wishes a speedy recovery for a very gallant gentleman. <laughs>